I, no, I, I don't know. I don't know what that means. I mean, I, I, I don't have that much money. I, I used to, um, when I was really young, I was a dishwasher at the Holiday Inn here in Ocala, and the Gators used to sometimes come down here before a game just to, sta- just to stay away from College Town, because this was an old fogey town at that, at yeah. that time, especially. <laughs> yeah. They just well, they, yeah, they, they did it because, uh, really, for two reasons. One, they, they, uh, it did get them out of all, from all the fans and, and everything like that, but... Also, that's where they would hold their team meetings and, and things like that before the game and, uh, and ensure their players didn't get into trouble before the game started. Oh, wow. Uh, so uh, did you uh, make it through the cold night okay? Yeah. Yeah, you know, we have heat, which is good. Um, it's ridiculous. It needs <laughs> to warm up. I'm looking at the temperature on my car. It's 29 degrees, Larry. Is that- the tree zone is cold. Oh, wow. Oh. Any icicles out there? Uh, no, because there's no rain. I mean, it rained for like three weeks, and now there's cold weather where it could snow comes, and it doesn't. Yeah, right. Well, it always works out that way in Florida. When it gets cold enough to snow, it doesn't. Yeah, the humidity goes away. It's ridiculous. And and anybody out there who says, oh, I just want it to be cold for a little while. We should lock them up in a prison somewhere right now. Because this, is, this is barely, I mean, it's ridiculous. You know, you're talking about me. It's colder, in, it's colder right now in, in central Florida than in, than in Augusta, Maine. All right? That's a problem. <laughs> it has nothing to do with global warming. It, it's just ridiculous. By the way, I thank God for global I, I warming. Like the island yes. of Misfit, you know, the uh, <laughs> Rudolph went to and, and made some kind of a deal with her. Now, who was it? It was Mrs. Claus made some kind of deal with Mother Nature between um, Heat Minder and uh, who's the cold guy? I, I don't remember, but I Mr. know what you're talking Freeze. about. Right, right, right. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Freeze. So. Yeah, it's ridiculous. That's what it feels like right now. Right, well, so. Just in my defense of wanting a few cold days, let me just say, I didn't want it on January 7th. I wanted it on December 25th. No, no. You see, and I hate that, too, because <laughs> what do you get you know, in Florida? And, and I really don't know if this is anywhere else, but in, in Florida, you know, when you grew up, you always got a bicycle in the winter because that you're more likely to ride it because... In June, it's just too hot. I understand. But, I understand. So, you know, so uh, you know, I mean, that's you're taking away everything. I get all kinds of outside toys during Christmas, so I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 I don't. Well, I can't stand it when it's this cold. You know, I'm a, grumpy. F- so a few years ago, Robin and I painted a bunch of boxes for Christmas. And we made them all Christmas scenes with snow and snowflakes and, and, so s- and sleigh riders and you know. Uh-huh. And somebody said, "You live in Florida. Why are you painting snow?" Uh huh. I don't know. It goes with I don't know. <laughs> goes with Christmas. It goes, it goes with it, you know. Yeah. Uh, Norman Rockwell told us that's what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go to the phones. Take a couple of calls. Good morning. You're on the air. Yeah, maybe it's cold outside. Brr. Yeah. But. Hey, the Knights and the Knolls did us all proud this week, so hey, we there have you reason go. to be happy. <laughs> there you go. The, the sports references. That's all. Nothing, nothing, nothing major. Nothing, nothing As, to speak uh, about. Just have a. Oh, he dropped off. Tommy there? He cut himself yeah. off. Oh, there he is. Okay. We, we couldn't hear his laugh. All right, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. <laughs> yeah, it was a good win by the floor, by Florida State. That's um, it's really good. My phone was blowing up. All night, which is good. I mean, the first half, it was amazing. I, I, Larry, I know you watched the game. I know you watched every minute of it. Um, so I can't wait for your analysis of it. But uh, that was funny. All right. Um, but, you know, during the first half when Florida State was losing 21-3, to 3, my phone was blowing up by all my Gator friends who were like, yeah, Jameis is choking and all of this. And, you know, I, I'm like, you know what, tonight I'm not going to – I'm not going to – get sucked into that vacuum is void, so I didn't even look at my phone. I could just hear beeping. And then, you know, the fourth quarter comes around, and Florida State takes a lead, and now it's blowing up by my Florida State friends, and <laughs> so it was a uh, And people are talking about, like, it's a great game. It wasn't a great game. It was a, it was a great fourth quarter, but uh, the first three quarters weren't that good at all. I mean, there was some really sloppy football plays. You could tell that, uh, stage got got to a lot of the guys but an incredible fourth quarter not a great game incredible fourth quarter 
<laughs> All right, got another phone call. Good morning, you're on the air with Galen. Ah, nobody there. All right, let me push another button. I talk too long. Good morning, you're on the air with Galen. Yeah, hey, good morning, everybody. Hey, Hugh. Hey, I just got back from a walk with the wife. Uh, we took the doggies for a little walk up the street, and she said, oh, is it, isn't this terrible? I, I said, wait a minute, now hold on. I, you were at the second coldest game in Green Bay back in 83 when I was 6 below zero. What are you complaining about? This is like a heat wave. If it was this temperature in Milwaukee right now, they'd be running around shorts. <laughs> But, uh, I, I guess so. I think they made a big deal out of the school front because they were talking low twenties and stuff. And uh, I went around and says, I don't know, 30, 29, 30, and that ain't such a big, uh, big deal. Uh, a couple of winters ago, uh, I, I had a uh, one morning was seventeen, and a couple of mornings it was nineteen. So it was a heck of a lot colder than this, this morning. And that one there was not even any frost on the on the roofs or grass. So you know, it wasn't all that bad of a deal. <laughs> well, okay, all right. Thank you, Hugh. Appreciate that. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, and, and in defense of, of what we were trying to do yesterday with the warning of the cold coming, yeah. I mean, if we didn't do it, you, uh, I don't know, you have, you can't win. You have to say it's going to get cold. Yeah, you, you, you got can't dogs say and it's you got plants. And you got, plants, yeah. Had to. Um, I mean, I mean, if we didn't do it, you would have heard it from somebody else. Oh, sure. And but if none of us, if everybody in the media said, "Ah, come on, we don't need to mention that." Yeah. <laughs> then, I don't know. <laughs> I think being prepared was was a good thing. Do you, oh, what do you think, I, Galen? I think so. I agree. Yeah. Well, the it's difference important. between being twenty nine and in Milwaukee and twenty nine in Ocala, Florida, is they're ready for it in Milwaukee. I mean, how many parkas do we own? I, I don't own a parka. You know? I mean, my kids, they went to the Jaguar the best I got. I mean, I'm not going to pay $120 for a, a big goose down jacket that they'll wear ever. So, you know, they're, they're, my poor boys are probably freezing today. Now, when you say your poor boys, is that a euphemism? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, okay. Really. All right. You mean your real boys. Okay. They, they are. They are. They Sorry. Are, I, this is a whole pair of long johns. Right? This is what I'm talking about. In Milwaukee, it's standard issue. Oh, yeah. They're you poor. Born they're... And, they, and they, they give you a pair of long johns. I think it's probably a... That's probably the keep, the affordable that, care act. that helps keep the boys warm. That's why they do that. That's right. <laughs> but, uh, you know, my, I'm, I'm cold. And, and I'll tell you, I got, you know, my new car, I have seat warmers. And wow. When the guy's like, oh, yeah, you have seat warmers. Like, I'm never going to use that. It's in Florida. Are you using it <laughs> right now? I push today. <laughs> you're washing, you're using it today. Good for you. All right, Keep those go. boys warm. In my garage, my car in my garage. <laughs> It's 34 degrees. That's that's ridiculous. Uh, I, I was trying to think of any reason not to have to go to work today. <laughs> Good morning. You're on the air with Galen. Hey, Galen. I think you just took his uh, boys for a walk, didn't he? Is that, is that what he was saying? That's what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. you know, I, I mean, that, I just... I just wanted to say uh, uh, I, I I love listening to you guys uh, talk. I, I always listen, uh, enjoy listening to Galen as well. He's a a fellow veteran, I would just share with the listeners uh, that the uh, the term global warming has been traced back to Exxon Mobil. It's really an oil oil company uh, derivative word, and that what we <laughs> on the left say, the John F. Kennedy Democrats, is called global global climate shift. But uh, you know, extreme weather. And, and Galen made my point for me because if it's colder here than in May, that shows you the the uh, the extreme the extreme differences that that didn't really use. That's we right. have a little more. Consistent consistency, I think, in weather than we do now. That's all. There you go. Yeah. So if it wasn't, <laughs> there you go, if, if it wasn't for global warming, it would be twenty. Oh yeah. Not twenty nine. <laughs> no, not at all. So glad that's guess, not happening. I guess so. Uh, and anyway, so it's cold. Hey, I didn't want to go down there. It's too early in the morning for it, all that. It's cold. That I mean, it's been cold before. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, it's not even the coldest day on record, is it? Didn't there? Wasn't it like? 14 one time on this date or something I read. I don't know. I don't know. But it's cold. It really, I just don't like cold weather. <laughs> but you got a seat warmer. I don't. Yeah, I, know, right. I know. And, and I, it's working. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't function well. And, and um, you know, the fact that my dog didn't even want to go outside today. I, what kind of dog does she have? They even wanted to walk down the street. <laughs> oh, I, po I posted you know. a, I posted a video on my on my Facebook page of a uh, oh a dog. I can't remember what kind of dog it was, but he's wearing a Batman pajamas and he's running oh, around in the snow. How cute! Did is you that? happen to see that? They, no, oh, in Milwaukee, they, their dogs are properly outfitted <laughs> with parkas, right? And boots. My dogs don't even own a sweater. Uh, and this is 
<laughs> this humane society is probably going to come and take them from me because yeah, it's so cold. Yeah, you're break, breaking the rules. Uh, you let your you let your dogs out in this weather. I'm, I'm being I'm being a little tongue in cheek, but I don't like cold weather. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. You're on the air with Galen. Good morning. Hey, Linda. My teeth were burning on that walk this morning from that wind hitting them. And my ears are still cold. And I was wearing my medium-sized packer jacket from Lambo, so I was pretty cold. I don't like this weather. But anyways, uh, yeah, uh, the dogs, uh, the dogs, they don't like this weather at all. The ones that well, why'd you take them out in big, 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 big <laughs> beds to lay on now, and they're all covered up with blankets. Down the front of the paper this morning, they're showing that they're all covered up and bundled up because it, it, it feels cold to us, you know, because we're not used to this kind of weather. But uh, so, why did you even take them out in it? That's the question. Pardon? Why did you take them out in it then? Because they have to go for a walk. They have to do their job. They have to do what they do. Uh, all right. Yeah, they got to do what dogs do, otherwise they explode. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have litter yeah, boxes for dogs, just no, for cats. They, they, they what? Did they get the job done or with no way? Yeah, big box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you better hurry. No. Hey, yeah, Cal came back from Wisconsin and he's saying he's glad. He doesn't want to be in fall below zero anymore. Good for him. Happy. Yeah. He's yeah. happy for Florida weather, even though he has to put up with this for two or three days. He'll be back to 80 by the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Linda. <laughs> great day. Appreciate did, that. Did you, uh, I, I heard that um, yesterday uh, in Toronto it was colder than it is on Mars. Really? I I, I saw that on my, I have this weather app that I check the weather Uh, constantly. But it's like this for work. I mean, this this is the other reason I don't like it. Our our blood donations are going to go way down. But um, in in the headline it said, Toronto, colder than Mars. That's a great headline. I have no idea if it's true, but it was a great, great headline. So. So the whole plan- a headline rider, that's, that's, that's probably as good as you're going to get. Well, that, so that, that would mean that a, a planet that's farther away from the sun gets more heat than we do. Right. Yeah. Uh, again, it, it's that climate change. Well, what, how am I supposed to say it? What was it? Climate, climate. Uh, I don't remember what he said. No. Climate change. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Climate, climate change. change. Okay. Global, right. global climate change. Yeah. Global climate change. From the left, he said. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it did start from the left. It started yeah. up in, uh, I think, in the out west somewhere, and then came this so. way. Yeah, I watched. Yeah. It, I watched it drift across the country yesterday. Well, I know in uh, in in Huntsville, Alabama, last night it was supposed to get nine degrees, and uh, that's 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 a real problem for our blood supply. It really is. I, and, and this is crazy, but we we had to think about, um, and, and we we had a meeting about this. Um, is what, uh, are, can our vehicles sustain a, a high enough temperature to transport platelets on our on our vehicles yesterday? Yeah, right, right. Huntsville because right now, five degrees. Freeze. Gail, yeah. five it, degrees right now in Huntsville. Right. Yeah, so and, and we, we, we decided that we were going to transfer all our platelets in the middle of the day when it's as warm as possible because they cannot be in, in, in that cold of weather because of the variance in temperature. So... Um, yeah, I mean, those are the kinds of things you have to think about. Miami is 50 Again, I right like now. cold weather. Yeah. 50. And, uh, I'll bet you South Beach is pretty darn empty right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let's, let's see what Key West is. See if it's just a little further south. Uh, what, 55, Key probably? West, 55, right on, yeah. De- yeah, de- definitely. yeah, it makes sense. All right, so it's cold. That's what That was the topic for today. Rob, we, so need, I a, can't outrun it. we need a segue from <laughs> being cold. <laughs> <laughs> to donating blood. When you donate blood, sometimes you get chilly, right? Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah, we do keep it cold. Yeah, we keep it cold because it's, uh, it's a better donation for you. But um, t- today's going to be rough. But please overcome the elements. Yeah, because sometimes we've seen people come back from donating blood, and Larry's given them his blanket so they can wrap up in it because they say Larry's they're cold. such a giver. He's such a giver, that mm-hmm. guy. You talk about me? Yeah, at the other yeah. office. <laughs> I gave blankets at the cascades <laughs> there were a couple people that donated blood and they came back when the blood mobile was up in the parking lot and they were so cold and we had a couple extra blankets in our office and, oh. and you gave them Robert remembers everything to wrap up I, I forget what i've done anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well go to life south community blood centers warm everybody's heart bring them some hot chocolate bring hot chocolate for the staff and they'll give you some cookies and juice and uh, lay down for about 20 minutes and donate one unit of blood and you can put Potentially save three lives. There you go. 
you know, when they do your life story on Lifetime Network, yeah, um, it's going to be through the eyes of Robin. <laughs> Has to be because I won't remember any of it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because you you don't remember any of it. Oh, I did that. I guess I did. I, I don't. I said I did. I did. I did. <laughs> that, that would be the whole story. That that's pretty much. Awesome. That's pretty true. Actually, yeah. <laughs> All It'll right. be a lifetime special, Larry. I think, I think you're going to get a two-hour block out of it. It'll be, yeah, it'll be lifetime Ocala. Is, no, nobody knows yeah. me outside this little dot on the map. From, so, uh, from the rough streets of Long Island, New York. <laughs> uh, get the where, giant of a man with a big heart. Where is the blood mobile today? That's right, he is. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Lamar Outdoor Advertising yesterday for having a phenomenal blood drive. Uh, I didn't mention it yesterday. I apologize, but... Um, Lamar Outdoor really stepped up for us, and thank you very much for, for all that you do for, for helping us educate the community. Um, that was pretty awesome. But today, Larry, we are actually at the Villages Walmart again. All right. So, uh, nice. That's where we're going to be. All right. And if you can't get down there, then right here in Ocala on Silver Springs Boulevard, there is a place. It's called Life South, <laughs> right next door to the Cascades on, on the boulevard. Where would you go in Denali, Robin? Right next door to Sweet Bay. Sweet Bay. Sweet Bay. <laughs> the only other thing I want to mention is the sad news this morning that ABOs is closing. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's really oh, sad. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, it was in the paper. Well, Larry's known Al for a lot of years. We've all known Al for a long time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Al's been open for... 35, it said. I think it says 35 years in the paper. Yeah, wow. he's so great. Yeah. All right, Gallon, you, oh, right. you have a great day. Thank you for all you do. Stay warm. Keep that. Keep those boys, what do you call them? The boys the warm. The boys. <laughs> the boys warm, yeah. They, they did their own little parka. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay, we'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, you guys are the best. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. We'll take a little break, and we'll be right back. It should be warm by tomorrow, right? Yeah. You by Fuller and Fuller Attorneys at Law. On the air every Wednesday morning at 10.30 a.m. with John Fuller, a board-certified civil trial lawyer for over 25 years. John welcomes your questions from business to complex family matters to legal disputes. So tune in every Wednesday morning at 10.30 a.m. for Legally Yours with John Fuller right here on WOCA 1370 a.m. and 96.3 FM, The Source. Hi, I'm Tom Ingram, CEO of Gateway Bank, inviting you to drop by our main office on Silver Springs Boulevard every Friday from 3 to 6 p.m. for the Community Gazette, a three-hour show focusing on our favorite community to live and work, Ocala, Marion County. Come join us with the voice of Ocala, Buddy Martin, in the new old-fashioned bank radio studio as we discuss a variety of interesting topics on the Community Gazette on WOCA The Source. George? Yes, Alice? Christmas is over. Time to get all the decorations down. Yes, I know. So you're going to stuff them in the garage and attic again in our way? No. No? Yes. No. No? Yes. George, what are you up to? I'm storing all the stuff in Devon Self Storage across from Hobby Lobby. Better call them at 8730777 and get extra boxes. Gee, Alice, what would I do without you in Devon Self Storage? I know, George. I know. Hi, this is Brad. I want to take a moment to talk about a serious issue. In the next five years, the aviation industry is projected to have a shortage of commercial pilots. Now is the time to start training. Ocala Flying Club has started a scholarship for the youth of Marion County ages 17 to 24. The club will donate up to $4,000 towards a pilot's license. This will help get the student on their way to obtain their commercial pilot license. If this sounds like something you would be interested in, or if you know someone that would be, please contact Ocala Aviation Services, 861-7484. Phoenix Promotional Solutions, your company supplier of banners, digital decals, yard signs, and magnetic signs. Where you give them approved artwork by noon, the next day by 4 p.m., you pick up your banners, digital decals, yard signs, and magnetic signs. Phoenix Promotional Solutions, 368-2404. That's 368-2404. Don't forget, they do vehicle wraps also. Phoenix Promotional Solutions, 368-2404. All right, thank you. 60 minutes after 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in the whole country is cold right now right do when if you have decided that every morning you're going to go jog you you've changed your your what's your what do you call it, resolution right yes and this morning you said it's a little too cold because <laughs> you live in florida you're not used to this right so yeah like if you if you grew up in milwaukee and you made a, a resolution you're going to go jogging every morning you probably 
Not surprised that it's cold, and you jog it anyway. Sure. Right? You grew up in You're Milwaukee, so for it. you know that. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, and uh, so, so maybe in addition to that, you wanted to change how you eat. And uh, we have on the phone somebody who might be able to help us with this. Uh, Michelle A. Macedonio is on the phone. She is the team dietitian for the Cincinnati Reds. She has a book called The Athlete's Guide to Making Weight. Is that right? Optimal Weight for Optimal Performance. Let's say hello and good morning to Michelle Macedonio. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning. Thank you for being on the air with us. Are you someplace cold? <laughs> no, actually, I'm not. I'm in Arizona, but I I live in Cincinnati, and it's very cold there. Oh, okay, okay. So you want, did you get out of the cold, or you just happened to be down in Arizona? No, I'm working in Arizona right now. <laughs> oh, really? So I thought it was cold in yeah. Arizona today, too. Um, so when, when the book is called The Athlete's Guide to Making Weight, is that right? That's correct. So does that mean gaining weight? That means gaining weight and or losing weight, depending on what your needs are. Oh, okay. And w- with baseball players, I would think that they're typically in shape, right? Is, are they, do, do they run into the same kind of eating bad behaviors that we all do? Of course. They're just like the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, so what do you tell them? No Twinkies? What do you do? Yeah. <laughs> well, I tell them, number one, that they have to realize that nutrition is important for their exercise. And uh, exercise requires energy, and food provides energy. So we have to plan a, a diet that makes sense for them. And I'm guessing that sometimes when the rest of us, and maybe sports people are a little different than athletes, but when the rest of us want to lose weight, sometimes we go overboard, right? We, yes, we do. Sometimes we think, I'm going to exercise and I'm not going to eat, or I'm going to skip a few meals, um, I'm not going to have snacks. And I tell them that that isn't necessarily the best way to do it because ener- uh, exercise does require energy and we get our energy from foods. And um, the other thing that people do is they avoid fats. And I tell them that fats are essential nutrients, which means you neither make those nutrients nor can you function without them. So we have to have some good fats in our diets. Okay. And just, do those fats always come from meat or could you be a vegetarian or, or vegan or whatever? You certainly could be a vegetarian or a vegan, um, and no, they don't always come from meat. In fact, what we like to tell people is to lower the amount of fat that you have in your animal products so that you can use vegetable fats, and you can use heart-healthy vegetable fats. Oh, really? One of the reasons that I recommend canola oil, because canola is a heart-healthy vegetable fat. Does anything reduce uh, the amount of... I don't know, for lack of a better way to ask this, because I'm just a radio guy, like build up in your veins and arteries. Is there a way to get rid of, because you always see these animated things. This is what's going on in your arteries, and it's getting Mm -hmm. caked with stuff. Is there a way to undo that? Well, there is a way to do that, and that's by reducing the amount of saturated fat in your diet. And that's why choosing heart-healthy fats are so important to health and performance. Um, You reduce the saturated fats. You try to avoid the trans fats, which are what we call manufactured fats in, or industrial fats, man-made fats, um, and choose your heart-healthy fats like uh, recipes with canola oil. And how about hydration? How important is that to keep a person healthy? Because sometimes we think we eat foods like oranges, stuff like that, and that should provide adequate hydration. Is that true? Foods do provide hydration, not necessarily um, When you're exercising, you have to have more hydration because you lose, the body cools itself by sweating, and therefore you have to replace the sweat that you lose. So you tend to drink things like water, or if you're exercising for long periods of time, you might have a sport drink. But foods do provide uh, fluids, and we can get many of our fluids in our vegetables and fruits. So can I ask a question about canola oil? What is a canola? Canola is a plant. And it has a seed, and that seed is pressed, and the oil comes from that seed. And it's like, you know, it's 100% oil. It's fat, like um, other oils, but it comes from the canola plant. Oh, really? And so so I could go, like, to the oil section in the grocery store and just buy a bottle of canola oil instead of, what do I normally buy? Like, it just says vegetable oil on it, I think. Correct. And the reason you would choose canola oil is because it is heart healthy. It is the lowest oil in saturated fat. It actually has half of the saturated fat of olive oil. Oh, so right. maybe we should... Olive oil isn't a good oil as well, but it has half of the saturated fat of even olive oil. 
Does, so go ahead. Ron. So when we're having a salad, maybe we should just mix it up with canola oil then. You could use canola oil in a salad. You, the nice thing about canola oil is it's very versatile. And by versatile, I'm saying that it has a neutral flavor, which means you can use it in a salad. You could put it in. A, you could use it to make stew, but you can also use it to make muffins, which I. When I bake, I use exclusively canola oil whenever I can. And you can use it in a smoothie. We have some recipes on the really? uh, canolainfo.org website where you can pick up some great recipes. Can we, so we've got a website, canolainfo.org. So, so does uh, something somebody told us once, I want to apply it to canola oil. Uh, they told us the, that we, and don't get mad at me, anybody, but this is what somebody told us, uh, another expert. Don't uh-huh. cook. They said don't cook with uh, olive oil. Mm-hmm. But you can use olive oil as long as you don't cook it, because once you cook it, it becomes carcinogenic. Yes. Once you heat it up. Have you ever heard that before mm-hmm. with olive oil? I, I don't believe there's any science to back that up. Okay. Really? However, Thank you. And, however uh, you can cook with, with olive oil, but canola oil um, is the oil that is the most heat tolerant. So you can use canola oil at very high heat. Not to say other oils become toxic, but they um, they don't tolerate the heat as well as canola oil does. Okay, well you're in a, a so warmer it is the place. Most heat tolerant. Huh. Uh, so so as far as as far as changing what we're doing to become healthier and maybe reducing the uh, the artery issues that that you always hear about, um, this is one way to do it. Does, does oatmeal do it too? The oats, oats, you hear oats? Oatmeal is, is, yes, is a source of omega-3 fats, just like uh, canola oil is. But what I usually tell people is if you lower the fats in your animal products, such as low-fat dairy and lean meats, poultry, and fish, take off the skin, etc., and replace that fat with canola oil, just one and a half tablespoons of canola oil re- a day helps to reduce your risk of heart disease. So exactly what you're asking. All right, Michelle, By thank you. replacing some fats, the unhealthy fats, with canola oil, you've made a big step. Uh, Michelle, thank you for being on the air with us. I know that you've got a lot of radio stations you're doing interviews for, and I didn't, I didn't, don't think I properly introduced you. You've got a lot of credentials, including the one I did mention, which is your dietitian for the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, thank you for doing what you're doing. The book is called The Athlete's Guide to Making Weight, um, and the website that we learned about is canolainfo.org. I guess we would go to Amazon to get the book. Is that right? Yes, you can. All right. Uh, Michelle, thank you for being on the air with us today. And thank you as well. Have a good one. Thank you. We'll take a little break, and we will be right back. Plumbing. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see. Ooh. We can try to fix that. I'll send someone right over. How's the third Wednesday of next month sound? Say, between the hours of 8 a.m. and 8 p.m.? Would that be fine? Of course it will. Now I'll just need your credit card information. Does that sound all too familiar? Well, next time, call Mike Scott Plumbing. If water runs through it, we do it. We schedule around your time, not ours. And we have straight time anytime, all the time. That means we're on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and we don't charge extra for nights, weekends, or holidays. We install traditional and tankless water heaters, repipes, drain repair, septic service and installation, irrigation systems, new construction, remodels, bathrooms, kitchens, even gas line installation and service. And we've been doing it all for over 25 years. So call today. 237 2888. That's 237 2888. And remember, if water runs through it, we do it. Mike Scott Plumbing. Hey, it's Chrissy with Ocala Mac and PC Repair and Ocala Guest Wi Fi to let you know we have you covered. We are the only local certified Apple and Microsoft computer company in Ocala. We are family owned and operated. From mobile repair to wireless networks, viruses, new systems, or security cameras, we do it all. Check us out online, OcalaMacPC.com, or give us a call, 352 566 8324. Tell them Nick, Madison, or Mason set you in get free diagnostic. Get your internet telephone service from the company that brought affordable internet service to Ocala in the first place. All is safe is the sister company of Ocala Guest Wi-Fi, a company you've known and trusted for all your internet needs. Whether you need a phone or hundreds, we've got the products and services to meet your needs both now and in the future. Our plans include everything from local and long-distance calling to equipment maintenance and even software upgrades. You can count on all is safe to give you cost certainty knowing that your bill will be the same next week, next month, or even next year. Call 352-450-8647 today to learn how to cut your monthly telephone bill up to 60%. 
sound no one likes to hear, but if it happens, know that it will be reported in seconds to the right authorities. AA Lock, Dock, and Security is your company for your home and your business. AA Lock, Dock, and Security, where you can get that extra key made or have your lock rekeyed. Questions to protect your home and business? Call 352-867-1965. Or stop by AA Lock, Dock, and Security at their new location, 219 Northwest 10th Street here in Ocala. Remember, be proactive, not reacting after it happens. Call 352-867-1965. 1965. Thank you, Joe. 27 minutes after 8 o'clock. It is nice looking outside. I know it's cold. Just saw a man walk past. He looked at Robin and he shivered and he laughed and yeah. he wanted you to know he was cold out there, Robin. Yep. And, and I say, you know, put a coat on, sir. Put a coat yeah. on. <laughs> it is 28 degrees here yeah. in Ocala right now. <laughs> and uh, I, I guess we're back into the swing of things. This is kind of a cool time of year, too. I mean, I, I, I enjoy the seasons. And, and uh, so anyway, I'm, I'm, you know, I was one of the people who said I wanted it to be cold <laughs> yes me too <laughs> but, i love the cold but again i will defend that i wanted it to be cold for one week christmas yeah. to new year's and then put the heat back on please <laughs> you missed it by a week god you missed it by a week uh-oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i better be careful yeah i better be careful yeah, he, he talking to you. the boss that way i shouldn't do that no no uh, but anyway i'm just teasing it's 28 degrees right now in ocala and uh the temperatures are expected to improve by the way but it'll still be cold still be cool and if you did not take care of your plants last night or maybe you did and you're still a little bit concerned caroline will be here in about a half hour mm-hmm. caroline baldwin that is and uh, she will do her show uh, you've got a garden in which you can call in and ask questions about what you might want to do or maybe if there's any hope for something that you did not prevent i you know what i did last the first time i've ever done this i actually went outside and wrapped up the faucet because uh, i was I guess I was worrying myself yesterday with all the announcements we were making. Oh, yeah. You have to wrap it up and take care of your pipes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> was that a euphemism? I don't know. <laughs> what is it with all these euphemisms today? All right. Uh, real quickly, for the, for the one thing that I think is pretty important that uh, is a result of uh, the news that there was a couple of fires yesterday. Now, one of the fires was a grease fire. I think the, the person in the kitchen was cooking and something got out of control, so... But we don't know about the other fire. Uh, but the point is, Marion County Fire Rescue has a program uh, called Get Alarmed. And, you you know, fires can start for any reason, whether you have a heater that goes awry or a wiring, God forbid. Um, but their, their program is to provide a free uh, smoke alarm. It's a dual mode smoke alarm. And I think that means that it, it not only detects smoke, but also carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide, maybe. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, they not only will provide it, but they'll also install it. You've got to be, you got to, I guess, be a Marion County resident. Just give them a call. They'll tell you the details. Their number is 291-8000. 291-8000. All right, let's go to Mike Huckabee, and then we'll be back with News Bites. This is the Huckabee Report for Tuesday. I'm Mike Huckabee. Washington is once again hard at work, running our lives for us. Details next. Marsh's identity thief... 